<laughs> yes, today's the day. Today is the day and I'm so excited. It is Festive Friends Fest. I have been waiting for this since September when I booked the tickets. September. And basically, um, I'm going to a Festive Friends Fest and I can't wait. So basically, if you don't know what Friends Fest is, it's basically where they have the, they remake the apartments and they have some of the like costumes and some of the things from the original set. And if you don't know, I'm pro like, I'm a massive Friends fan, massive. And I just feel like it makes me so happy. So quite frankly, I cannot wait. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be allowed to film. I mean, I presume I will be, but I'm going with my friend Kira from uni. So it'll be nice to see her as well. Same time, it's really bad because I have this thing when I go to things or when I watch anything. When I was watching the Olympics, I wanted to be an Olympian. When I went to watch Matilda in the theatre, I wanted to be like in a theatre production. When I, literally whatever I watch, I'm like, oh, I want to do that. But that's just because they're at the top of their game. And like friends, I want to be in a show like that. Do you know what I mean? It's really annoying because it means I never know what I actually want to do. Can't explain it. But anyway. Let's get showered, ready. We're waiting in the car, about to go to the station. Big old juicy spots and then really sore. You know, and then it's like, fine, all right. Didn't invite you onto my face or whatever. Like, you're not paying rent on my face. But if you're painful as well, it's just rude. It's disrespectful and I didn't ask for it. I really thought that when I was 18, I would not have spots anymore. That would just be some sort of a miraculous turnaround. But alas, no, 22, out here still thriving with the acne, even with prescribed acne medication. But it's fine, we get over it. I really want to buy a Hugsy, but I feel like it's gonna be really expensive. But at the same time, it's Hugsy. So we arrived at Friends Fest and I was reunited with Akira. And the first thing you see when you go in is like all the old costumes and things. And it was so weird to see like the Thanksgiving costume, Phoebe's little pajama set, they even had Monica and Rachel's costumes and then they had a timeline of when everything happened. And then once you've seen all of this stuff, you then go into your set tour, which is where you go into the different apartments. And this was the most exciting thing ever. So the first place you go to is Monica's apartment and it's decked up in Christmassy. Now when I say that I got really emotional, going in because it just was surreal like it actually looked exactly like it does in the tv program and they had the whole dinner laid out and every little detail was so spot on they even had on the fridge they had the game where they had to guess all of the different states and it just looked so realistic and it made me really emotional I, i'm getting emotional thinking about it because they just have so many memories with friends which sounds so lame because it's literally a tv show but it was just every little detail was so, so superb. They even had Rachel's friends giving trifle. They had the door. I just literally was living my best life. When we have just done Monica's apartment and I don't know where we're going now. It's amazing. Then we went into the hallway and then you transitioned into Chana and Joey's apartment. And it was so lifelike. I was a bit worried about all the people that were gonna be there. But actually, because they do this thing at the end where they're like, clear set so everyone can take their empty pictures with it, if you get what I mean. And we went at a really good time. We went as soon as it opened. So it wasn't busy at all, actually. And we just really took our time and everyone helps everyone take pictures. So there's like, not really a worry or anything like that of people not getting pictures with the different things. The rooms are so lifelike. I can't go over it. Watching it back is so peculiar. Oh, you can't see this We're about to go into Central Park. This is groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. I'm freaking out. I'm having the best time. This was everything I could have ever imagined it to be. It was beautiful. They literally had everything laid out. The little stall. It's so weird because it's so much smaller in real life than it looks on all of the videos and things like that. But even on the TV show, apparently the set here was like the exact same size as the TV show. And it just felt so much smaller in real life. This is insane. And then we had to leave and then it started snowing outside in the outside bit, which was really crazy. And it was quite a nice touch. This whole thing probably took about 30 minutes. And then you move on to the next section. Here I am looking really sad that I had to leave and go out into the unknown. But then the snow was there, so it made me really happy. And then we went into the photo section. They had all these different rooms set up and they have staff for each different section so people can take pictures for you.
Right, we have a drinks pass, but I don't know if it means... Drink tank is not accepted here. Oh, okay. Use at bar. We got lots of different drinks. And now where are we going? Phoebe at the moon party. Oh, this is fun. We're about to be at Phoebe at the moon. Wait, are you... Oh my gosh. We're about to be here. This is really... This is... This is I way better so than happy. I thought. Oh I'm my like, God. I haven't stopped smiling. I haven't stopped smiling. I actually haven't. Oh, and do you know what's good? By being the last, no one's going to rush you. I love it. Oh, sorry. We get to. Oh, yeah. Having the blazer on. So we're just getting changed for some pics now. Oh, yeah. Been to photo station one, and now we're at floating heads. One of the photo stations was where you made your own little friends opening sequence, which is goals. Because honestly, if I ever got to do something like that, I would explode, probably. We're actually at the end of the line. So it means we can take our precious turn. So we've got all of these. What are you going to get? I don't know. Should I do a bimmer? Yeah. Boop. Okay, I'm going to try it. I got it. Ooh, a bitter aftertaste. We then went to the New Year's podium. If you've seen Friends, you'll know all about this. And it was really cool because they had the routine behind. We had so many people staring at us for this, but we were just having a good time. So we just didn't care. We just literally were having, when I say this was one of my like, best days of 2019, I'm not exaggerating. I was living my best life. Oh gosh, watching this is hilarious. <laughs> Kira doesn't know whether she should get him or not. If he feels 25, I think I might. He's 30 though. <gasps> He's so cute. I don't know if I've done that. <laughs> that deep breath says it all. We're both having serious regrets. <laughs> Hugsy. Hugsy. Hugsy Ellen. Hugsy Boo. We're sad. Look, we've all been best friends. Look, <laughs> you're literally just distraught, aren't you? Grown up together. <laughs> I feel a bit emotional. So we just went to the gift shop, right? And we we felt connected to Hugsy, and then we saw that it was thirty pounds, and we didn't get it. And the thing, the worst thing is, is when we were going in, we said thirty pounds was is our max. <laughs> our max. So it was in our price range. And now I've got regret. Why didn't I get Hugsy? Do you think we can like find their online store? Oh no, but them. it's not the same. But it's I'm going to email them. Yeah, but it's not the same. I'm going to email them. Here the is one, look, one, the, the one there is a crooked nose Hugsy out there. He had a crooked nose, he did. And, and he was made I want him. him. And mine, I just I just said the third one in, didn't I? Yeah. I can see him, I can actually see him. And we didn't get it. I could just really want him, I feel like a bad True. mother. I feel, like, I feel distraught. Uh, why did we not get him? I could just see him chilling out on my bed. Yeah, I know, in the middle oh, of my God. bed. Best, best friends with Rumpa. It's we'll have fine. to get over ourselves. It's never going to be fine. <sighs> After that debacle, we then went to get some food and I got this really, really good vegan pizza. It was exceptional, actually. I have to explain this next section because it was really weird. We stumbled upon this queue for a freebie and Akira and I just thought, why not? We've got nothing else to do. We've got the rest of the afternoon. So we waited in line for this freebie and I'll wait for the rest of the vlog to see how it pans out. <laughs> Akira, why we not just join she's taking it all in. These could be ours. These wellies could be ours. <laughs> Oh. Come on. oh my days! It's such a good day. So I've actually say it's one of my favourite days of 2019. I've had literally the best day. It's been so so much fun. I'll fill you in. Go through the clips when I'm home. Look at this. I've won this. I am honestly. Also, can I just say, Akira, I don't know if she watches my vlogs, I think she watches some of them, say how appreciative you are of certain friends, and I feel like I never say a big enough thanks to Akira, but she's genuinely the nicest, most kind, generous, you know people just don't seem to have a bad bone in their body, and they're just so, so nice, 
and she's just the most thoughtful bean and I love her and I had such a good time with her today and it's sad because obviously you know when you're at uni you have all your friends and then when you're at uni obviously they, everyone lives in like different parts of the country so it's hard to get to see them but it was so nice to see her today I'm really really had such a fun day hi I'm home and you won't believe it so I thought I'd show you what I got first of all let me just Kira and I walked by this line and we were talking about how we were so sad we didn't get a hug seat. For some reason we were foolish, we didn't get a hug seat and I'm regretting it. It's so stupid, I should have got one. Why didn't I get one? I'm actually genuinely like myself because it was so cute. I know I have romper. I'm very particular about my cuddly toys. Like I don't just take any romper stay with me since I was a kid and I've never found one that's connected with me like romper has apart from hug seat. We were just talking about that and then we walked past this queue and we were like, what they do? Because they were like screaming and stuff and getting all excited. And then we realised that it was a queue for a freebie. And Akira and I have this thing where we always are up for a freebie no matter what. And then the woman was like, oh, you, there's a 30 minute wait. But I saw those fit flop. I don't know, my mum loves fit flops. So I was like, maybe I can get her some fit flops for Christmas. So then it turns out you can't because you have to give your size then and there. And I didn't think I was going to win anything. They were trying, right, they were advertising their new... Fit flop wonder wellies. The £75 for a short welly or £90 for a tall welly. It was so embarrassing. I squealed because I didn't think I was going to win anything that I won. They actually asked me to redo it for their Instagram because apparently it was the best reaction they'd had all day. Because I just genuinely didn't think that I would win anything. I think short wellies are so, so cute. Oh my gosh, it fits like a glove. <gasps> Stop. Oh my gosh, this. Oh my gosh, they're comfy. It feels like I've got trampolines on. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? Oh my gosh, I feel like I love them. I got them for free, I won them. How amazing is this? They're so comfy, they are like squidgy. They're like, the heels are like, I can't, what is in that heel? Okay, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to guess. Not minutes, can you imagine? I just wait there for like two minutes. A few seconds to guess what you think I've just done. Okay, my favorite vegan cookie recipe. Okay, the cookies, I had to change a bit of the sugar because we didn't have enough. And they've changed. It's really important that you have the right sugar. It's crazy. Those cookies is vital that you have the right sugar. Look how big this Sainsbury's is. I love it. Jessie thought that was real and you could buy it. <laughs> Jessie's such a boy. He's just bought Smarties, sweet snacks. Leave the cooking. Anyway, that was Friends Fest. I hope you enjoyed. Love you all loads. See you tomorrow for a real Christmas vlog. The big, gigantic one of all of December, basically.